What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan bringing you a, another episode of our Minecraft survival. Um, but this actually is going to be the start of season two. Um, I, with the release of 1.5 and the changes with the Nether, um, I had explored so much of the previous Nether that I, I wanted to start fresh for this new season. So basically, we are creating a brand new base. And I took, I went a good 3,000 or so blocks, no, yeah, at least 1,000, I think it was 2,000 or 3,000 blocks from spawn, uh, and found a nice hill and a nice cave system underneath it. Um, I've created a nice pathway down, so it's easy to get to. And... I, most of this is actually was already cleared out when I came down here. Um, I haven't had to clear much. There's a column here. Oh, who's shooting at me? Really? Um, what I did is I created an inner chest, filled it full of my supplies that I had, and brought it with me. I need to light this up a little bit better, it seems. And block off some of these other ways. Um, I lit the cave up as much as I could. You know, not entirely perfect. Uh, create a little enchanting area here. Uh, put my chests and my stuff for here. I've got my bed in here. Basically, um, I created the basics and then hit record. And this is what I have so far. So I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to give me some suggestions as to what you'd like to see. Uh, I'm still gonna. I gotta build a farm for potatoes and carrots and uh, reeds, or not reeds, but sugarcane, potatoes, carrots, and wheat. Um, I need to build an area for cows and pigs and and uh, chickens. Um, so I have quite a bit that I need to do. I need to figure out where I want to put those things. Still, I don't really know exactly where I want to do that. Um, uh, but what I want to do is build a nice pathway down to the other areas, and build some stairways and stuff. Uh, I want to keep the natural flows of the caves as much as I can. So instead of clearing it all out and stuff, I want to try to keep some of this. Uh, that way, um, I don't have any food on me. That way, you know, it feels more natural. There's a slime somewhere. Well, that's kind of nice to know. We can make a slime farm. Somewhere. Oh, wait. I think there's a swamp near me. Maybe they're above ground. But yeah, as you can see, I got some nice roomy areas. Um, I got areas I haven't explored yet. Reminds me. Let's do this. Um, but yeah, I have, I have areas that I haven't explored yet. I think he's actually outside. So we'll have to go and uh, explore outside a bit later. Um, but. So there's... It's a pretty nice cave system I've, I've come across. So uh, there's a couple. There's more than one entrance and exit to this place. Um, so like here, as you can see, there's another entrance. All right, maybe there is no swamp nearby. So yeah, the slime had to have been underground because I don't see a. Uh, I don't see a swamp anywhere near me, so we'll have to figure out where he's at, where the slime chunk is at, and build a slime farm or something. And I'll probably make an actual door here at some point, or uh, like a uh, redstone door. Um, but I wanted to keep the the feel of the of the hillside, so that it doesn't necessarily look anything different. 
So if you're just looking over here, it would look like a regular hillside. Uh, and then I'll probably do like a redstone dirt door. A redstone stone door or something here. So that way I can keep the look and feel, but have a door that I can open and close. But I think my next goal is going to be to figure out where I can at least, or at least dig out a place for, um, dig myself out a place that I can put the, the food, the potatoes, the carrots, and the wheat, so, and the sugar cane, so I can start growing those. I also need to find a place to put the nether wart, um, so that I can grow nether wart as well. So I, um, since I'm no longer near my old base in the nether, uh, I can't just run to my base and grab some, so I'm going to have to figure out a place to put it in the overworld, but that's not going to be too much of a deal. So, right now, um, I think my main goal is going to be to build an area for the for the food first. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do an automated system where I can bring it to me with some pistons and stuff just yet. Uh, I might just create a simple one to start with and then we'll make an automated one uh, later as I clear out some space for it. Uh, but as you can see I'm getting low on food and I'm not sure that I have any with me. Um, where's all my... Ah, oh, there they are. So I'll just have to cook me some potatoes. I mean, I guess I have plenty of uh, food outside if I want to go. If I want to go outside and kill the um, the pigs. And then there's a bunch of pigs and cows uh, outside around here as well as the bird, the uh, chickens. So I mean, I, there's food that way too. Uh, but I'm kind of waiting so I can actually breed a few of them down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search around for a spot to put the uh, the food and stuff at to start growing wheat and the likes. Um, I'm probably going to put it on this same level I'm at maybe, or maybe I'll put it down. Maybe I'll put it down there in this area down there. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but anyways, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I figure out where I want to put it. So I'll talk to you All guys right, later. everybody. Um, I'm back, and I have the room finished. So let me show you guys. I created some stairs to go down here, um, and I went ahead and broke off to the right here. And here's the room. I wrapped the edge of the room with sand and sugar cane, and then I put. I uh, put some glowstone in the ceiling. I have nether wart here. This is these are carrots and potatoes. And of course I have some melons and pumpkins. And then this is both both these are wheat. Since it takes three wheat to make one piece of bread, I figured I need more wheat than carrots or potatoes. Um, plus wheat is used to breed cows. So that'll come in handy as well. Uh, but this is the room that I ended up creating for the food for now. Um, I'll expand it later and give it a little bit more. Um, but actually, in the process of doing this, I found a ravine beneath this area here. Um, that Oh, there's the water for that. I shouldn't have done that. You know what? I should probably just do this. There we go. I should probably switch those to lily pads. I just haven't found any yet. Um, but over here, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I just hit my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, I think this leads back to where we were at. I think this leads back to a dead end. No. This leads to there. Oh, there's also an abandoned mineshaft all around where I'm at right now. 
So I have like tons and tons of places I can go and explore. I'm not sure where this one goes, but to block it off. There. Um, there's an abandoned mine. There's basically a giant ravine beneath us over here. I'm not sure how to if I can get to it from this direction or not. I cleared out a little bit of this too, just trying to make it look neater because I was thinking of putting it over here. But I changed my mind. Yeah, there's the ravine there, I'm pretty sure. Or at least part of the way to get to get to it. Um, and torches. Oh, nope, I guess not. Oh, wait, yeah, here it is. Yeah, see, there's a giant ravine, and you have lava and the mine shaft stuff. Um, I've lit part of it up. Or most of it up actually um, but yeah that's the ravine that I ran into when I was building the food room so I have that to explore at some point I wonder just to keep uglies from coming this way for now there we go yeah, I'll do that. And that'll just keep things from coming from us, coming at us from that area there. Same there. Um, but this is down here's where I'm growing my food now. Uh, so at least we'll have food to eat. I need to get me some boots. Yeah, no enchantments yet. But I like it. Uh, it looks neat. It's clean. Um, it, everything I have every plant that I could need to grow in here right now uh, so I think we're good um, next over here you have the abandoned mine shaft and I found the slime come on, buddy actually I should use my bow to kill him or this that way I get my uh, I should use my looting sword so I get more slime balls but I don't have my leading sword here with me. But they'll come to me. Yeah, that's quite a bit of slime balls I'm getting from them. So, I think next I'm going to do something over this way. Uh, I, don't know, I like it. There's a mine shaft here, which I still need to finish exploring. It's huge. And it spans both sides of the um, of the ravine, uh, but it's a nice structure for the tunnel here, or for the hallway. So I'll keep the hallway. I'll I like the uh, the way it looks. I'll make it. I'll just add some trim to it and stuff, and fix the ceiling. Uh, but I think I'm gonna come over here next and do something. I'll probably do an animal farm, like branch that way for the cows, branch that way for the chickens, and and the pigs or whatever, or the sheep. Um, I'm probably going to take advantage of the mineshaft tunnels too and do maybe some minecart systems to go around everywhere and take advantage of the tracks and stuff. I'm not sure yet exactly what I want to do, but um, just some of the ideas in my head. Um, and I'm probably going to switch from using cobblestone stone everywhere to using uh, stone bricks um, and something else I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I do want to, you know, not use the same two materials everywhere. And I'm thinking I might do the stairs differently. Um, but I haven't decided yet. I do like the way the stone and the cobblestone look together. Uh, but it's going to get kind of bland really fast without some color here and there. Uh, so I would like to do something to add a little bit of color to the, uh, to the environment. Um, yeah, look, we can go to sleep. Uh, so that's what I want to do, but it took me it took me a good couple hours to get that room down there finished. Um, it took a bit, but now that it's finished, I'm I'm happy with it and it should do pretty well. Uh, but I think the next thing we're gonna do is get build us a uh, a cow a cow farm, a pig farm, and a chicken farm. 
do I actually if I I probably want to do the pig farm. I'll probably uh, actually I'll do pigs so I can ride them. So we'll we'll have a couple of pigs, but I don't need to actually breed them. And what I do need to breed is the is the cows for the leather and for the um for their meat, and that'll give me another source of food as well. And then the chickens, of course, so I can make arrows since I don't have a uh, skeleton farm at the moment. Actually, what I need to do is build me a mob trap system somewhere. Um, I should do that and then use the new hoppers to collect all the items and then worry about experience just yet and just have them die for the items. Um, I thought that's what I might actually work on doing next is designing a mob system like that. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, so yeah, that's probably what I'll do next. But anyways, this is going to be kind of a shorter episode than what I normally put out. Just because um, I have, it's late here. Uh, it's like 5 in the morning and I haven't even been to bed yet. And I still need to get this edited and rendered and start uploading. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. But as always, you guys, thanks for watching and supporting my channel. And uh, take care, everybody. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.